Welcome to the second five rolls from the mom and pop painting box that I'm going through. This is a, a, a you see a picture of what I found in the first five rolls. Lots of awesome stuff. Lots of good things in these rolls. Um, this is a live stream that was a members only uh, monthly thing. And instead of just releasing it, I decided to try and cut it down and edit it out. So it would be a short video where you could just focus on the finds and see what you got there. Hopefully it turned out okay. I do hope you enjoy it. And I do have more of these rolls, so look forward to more videos. Let's get into these rolls and have some fun. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Hello, everyone who is here. Um, so I've got the, we're going to be doing the five more of these fun penny rolls. And this is, I wrote down what we found last time. And if I counted everything right, we had, uh, uh, out of the five rolls, we had one still, two Canadians, the earliest being a 1956, an, an 1899 Indian head set, um, 33 wheats, the oldest is in 1935, found two BU 2009s, not that that really matters that much, and there's the breakdown of 40s, 50s, and 30s. And we had a BU 1960 out of Denver. So I'm probably going to rewrite this and add in tonight's hunt. Let's get into this. All right. Just open the ender and look at that. Look at that. We already got a wheat scent. Very cool. Looks like we already have a wheat scent here. Right here. 1944 out of San Francisco. How about that? Nice. Very cool. There it is on the scope. Can you see it all right? And here we go. Here's another wheat center. We do have the wheat ender there. 67, 82, 1984 out of Denver. I think there's at least one or two more in here. This one is a 1955. That is a Philadelphia. That does not look doubled. I need the double. I need the double die on this one. Man, oh man, I could buy me a new car with one of those. <laughs> just uh, finding the time to stream is just very difficult with my schedule. So I was glad I was able to make it work tonight. All right, here we got a third wheat scent, 1947. How about that? Woo -hoo -hoo. We got a 1957 out of Denver. That is our fourth wheat set. Very cool. It's still the first roll. We have another wheat set. One, two, three, four, five. I think we have five more wheat sets in this roll. I just want to get to the wheat sets, but I'm trying to. <laughs> 1946 out of San Francisco. How about that? Nice. Nice. What do you what do you guys think is gonna be the earliest wheat scent we're gonna find in the hunt this time? We have another wheat set, 1944. Out of Denver, it looks like. 1944 out of Denver. Nice. All right. And then this one, I saw the date was a 44. 1944. Man. 44. This so far. This roll's been on fire. 1951 out of Denver. Next up, 1942. 1942. 42 weedy there. Is that a mint mark? Nope, just some dark, dark spots there. Very cool. And then we will get to our ender. This was the ender. It's 1951 out of San Francisco. Very cool. Awesome. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10 wheat cents in the first roll. How about that? So we're on roll number two and I already see several wheat cents in this roll. This is another roll that's going to be fun to look at. All right. Wheat cent. First wheat cent. 1957 out of Denver. Nice. Second wheat cent. 1945. How about that? Nice. All right. Third wheat cent. Third wheat set is 1956 out of Denver. Awesome. And then our next, next wheat set looks like it's a 
early year date, middle date. It is a little worn. So 36 looks like a 36. 1936. 1936. Yep, there we have it. 1936. That's our oldest wheat scent of the hunt so far. All right, next wheat scent. 1946. That's a 1946 wheat scent. Awesome. And it's an older Canadian. That is not the Queen. That's King George. It is pretty beat up there. Hopefully the lighting is good. 1943. How about that? That's why I had to look it up. But look at it under scope. 1943 Canadian. Nice. Next wheat scent. 1950 out of San Francisco. Very cool. I thought I saw something on the obverse, but not, not a lot. And then right behind it, we have a 1944 out of San Francisco. How about that? Next wheat scent in the roll, 1942. Very cool. Next wheat scent is a 1946 out of Denver. Very cool. I dropped the coin on the floor. Had to get it. <laughs> hey, look. It was a 1953 week trying to get away. Trying to get away from me. Not good enough for an album, but that is pretty shiny. We'll look at this one. 1935. 1935. That is the oldest wheat scent from the hunt. And from tonight's hunt and the oldest wheat scent that we have found in these rolls so far. Not the oldest coin. The oldest coin goes to that Indian head scent. Oh, 1951. Out of Denver. We got a blazer coming up here. Yeah, let's just cut to it. 1955 blazing red Denver scent. How about that? How about that? That is awesome. Look at that shiny red, nice, nice red 1955 out of Denver. How about that? <laughs> Very awesome. Uh, 1957 out of Denver. And then we made it to our Boren, one Finnig. This is 1967, one Finnig. We got a couple of wheat cents back to back here. 1944. 1944 and 1941. So what's the earliest wheat cent we're going to find? We have a 1958. That's the Newest wheat scent we're going to find, because 58 is the last year of the wheats. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I got a older one here. 1941 out of Philly. And then the next wheat scent is going to be our oldest wheat scent so far. 1927. We found a 20s wheaty. Yeah, how about that? Nice. 1927. 1953 out of San Francisco. Nice. 53 San Francisco. <sighs> Look at all these wheat scents. We've only been through three rolls. Three rolls? Yeah, three rolls. All these wheats. How about that? 1943 Canadian uh, King George. It's the only Canadian we have. And then we have the one Finnick. First wheat scent in this roll, 1945 out of Philly. Nice. Nice, nice. Next sweet scent. A few coins back. So looks like another 40s. 1940 on the dot. How about that? 1958 out of Denver. Very cool. Very cool. And there is an ultra rare, rare double die that looks like 1955 and 1969s on the 1958s. And if you can find one of those, man, oh man. That would be some money. <laughs> and this sweet scent is 1952 out of San Francisco. 1955 out of Denver. Nice. That is our last sweet scent in the roll. Ah. <laughs> nice. So our final roll of the night. Final roll of the night. Guess the date. The first sweet scent date I'm going to find in here. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
we have a nice find in this roll. I wish I could zoom in. Wish I could zoom in. So, poured it out. Can you see? Can you see what I got? Now, if I started at this end, maybe it might be a 41, but the first one I'm going to pull out with this magnet is the still set. 1943, we got a steely. We got a still set. Nice. <laughs> All right, now, now guess what the date is. <laughs> I see you changing your date there, Mike. <laughs> Yeah, um, so now guess what the first date is we're going to pull out uh, we sent from the rest of the roll. Um, but still sent. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> ah, nice. Last chances because we're at our first wheat. All right, I'm going to flip it over. Three, two, one, 1955 out of Denver. We have a Canadian, 1972. This is going to be a Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. All right, next wheat set, 1948 out of San Francisco. Woohoo! Wheat set. Next wheat set, 1947 out of San Francisco. Awesome. We have a nice red brown with some nice luster on it, 1951. Some of that nice luster on it still. Even though it's got a fingerprint, got some dirt spots, but it still has some shine to it. And it looks like our last wheat scent for the roll is a 1945 out of S. Nice. We got a stack of wheats. That's like 25, 30 wheats in five rolls. Awesome. Awesome. These, these rolls are just awesome. So I'm going to rewrite my little list here and add these stuff into it and go from there. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. Being a live stream, I had to chop it down a little bit to focus on the finds and how uh, the camera is set up. I couldn't zoom in like I do in normal videos. So hopefully you still enjoyed it. I have plenty of rolls left in this uh, box of coins, so there's going to be plenty more fun stuff to find in here. All right. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.